Hi, my name is Wayne Ackerman. I'm making this video because I'm looking for a man named Mr. William Brewer. He was a probation officer in the 1970s in Coburg Provincial System for the youths. In 1974, he made a complaint towards the Ontario uh, Youth uh, Reform Schools and such uh, about all the staff members that were abusing kids sexually, uh, beating them, uh, holding them captive, and all kinds of things that you just wouldn't believe. He reported all this stuff. I believe he was a staff member there, Mr. Brewer, I'm not sure, but he reported all this stuff to the superintendent of the school in 1974, Mr. George Pollard. Um, when he reported this to Mr. Pollard, Mr. Pollard didn't believe him uh, for the reason being Mr. Pollard turned it over to his superior, uh, Mr. Glenn R. Thompson, whom at the time was the Deputy Minister of Correctional Services. And Mr. Thompson, the way he handled it, and didn't even look into it, all he did was fire Mr. Brewer and ruined his livelihood and chances are his uh, personal life. But I guess I can't do much about that. But I can tell you this, if Mr. Brewer wants to get a hold of me and continue this and trying to get the government held account accountable for all these things they've done to these kids and myself, uh, I would be more than happy to talk to him. He can reach me at 647-648-8984 that's 647-648-8984, and I would be more than happy to talk to him. But I do want everybody to know one thing, and this is very important, that Mr. Thompson is the one and only person who is to blame for all the kids that were hurt and sexually molested and sadistically ruined since 1974, he could have done something about this, but he chose not to. That is sick. He should be held accountable, big time. And I am so sick of going through life of, with the nightmares and the fighting I have to go through. I've never had a life. In the last seven years, I've tried very hard to have a life. I have met a beautiful person and her two boys on the internet. I brought them over here from another country and to all my wonderful ideas of having a great life and trying to help these boys have a good life, nothing turned good about it. Nothing. It turned out to be that I couldn't handle it because of the scars and the memories of, that happened to me. And I blame this, again, I blame this on Mr. Thompson. But uh, because of what happened to me, and in the early, I think it was 2003, 2005, I sued the Ontario government, won a judgment, not allowed to mention the amount, which is not really important, but won the judgment, so the fact is they did admit doing these things to us and got away with it. Now they just throw cash at it, which is not owning up to responsibility. But I feel because I beat them in court, they're doing everything in their power that every time I want the government to help me, they don't. Such as they're trying everything in their power to get rid of my family, deport them. As a matter of fact, they have them on the list of being deported. And I have a young son who's only 18, and he had an appointment with a heart specialist because he has a heart problem. And what happens? They won't give him the medical coverage to get his heart checked out. He could die at any time, anywhere. And all because I feel they're after me, and they're using them as pawns. Well, you know what? I'm done. I'm coming after you. 
and I'm going to do everything in my power to make everybody known who put me through this shit. And guess what? Canada. I went to the Star. I went to the Sun. I went to City TV. I went to CTV. All the people that could have put my story out there. And they were all chickens because they were afraid of what the government would say. Oh, you can't say that against us. We can't have that. Well, guess what? What are you going to do to me? I'm going to say it. I'm going to make sure everybody hears it. And But there is one more thing. <coughs> the people of the Internet, when I get frustrated and I feel as if everything's piling in on me, I have to run. And I leave everybody in a lurk. I would also like to thank the people that my wife was talking to on the Internet who gave her not only spiritual help, but emotional help in the times that I couldn't do it. I had to run, just like a, put a, an ostrich puts her head in the sand. There was too much pressure. The, it gets to you. You just can't live. You can't help. You, you're nothing. And all of a sudden, there's complete strangers from all over the world helping uh, with my family matters. And the reason I couldn't do it myself is because of what my government did to me. And the people at Brookside that worked there when I was there. So sad. I'm serious. So sad. You know, I was born a Canadian, but I'll tell you something. That's not my fault. But I really am sorry that I am a Canadian. And I'm really, really disappointed in the way the government of Canada treats its own people. It's all well and nice that they said that they respected the natives and they treated them with respect and gave them all the apologies in the world. But what's wrong with us? Are we not good enough? They just brush us to a side? No. We need to be acknowledged and we're going to be. I'm on my way. Thank you.